What's up, rock stars? Welcome to your upper body smash workout. I'm Coach Nisha, and I'm so stoked to have you here with me today. So for your equipment, what you're going to need is a variety of weighted objects. Uh, if you don't have dumbbells, you can, of course, get creative, look around your house and find cans of food, bottles of water, anything that has a little weight to add additional resistance. Uh, otherwise, an optional elevated surface and some space to move. So with that said, we're going to get right into this, starting with some tricep push-ups. Now, this is only going to be for time, so 30 to 45 seconds. We'll find out how long that's going to be when we get into it, shall we? So you're welcome to use your elevated surface for this, or you can do this on the mat. I'm going to start elevated just because we're getting warmed up. So let's get our form really tuned in. So meet me in a nice tall plank, either on your elevated surface or on the mat. Shoulders are over your wrist. Your legs are nice and strong, core is braced, back is flat, and gaze is neutral. Well done. Now, let's get started. There we go. Okay, so lower yourself down, keeping those elbows in close to your rib cage, and then press yourself right back up. Awesome. You want to really think of keeping that core super strong, so you're not wanting your lower back to sag, and you're not wanting your butt to lift. You're really just trying to move your body in that plank form, like you're a piece of wood, that's as straight as possible. You don't want any warps in that. Awesome work. And feel free to also lower your knees if you're on the mat and you need a little modification. You can also do it on your elevated surface. Just be mindful that you're keeping that back nice and flat and in line from your head all the way to your knees. And last three, two, one. Well done. Such a strong start. Whew. So. Our second move of this superset is going to be tricep kickbacks. So we're really rocking those triceps as we get started. So we're working in the eight to 12 rep range. Feel free to choose a lighter weight than you think you'll eventually go. I'm certainly gonna do that because again, we're getting warmed up. So once you've chosen those weights, go ahead and meet you standing. Shoulders are back and down, core is nice and braced. Feet are about hip distance. And you're going to slightly bend those knees as you hinge the hips, sending the hips back like you're shutting a car door with your butt. And those weights are just hanging here, but not rounding your shoulders forward. All right. Now, elbows bent by your ribcage, keeping them there. And then you're just going to straighten those arms to feel those triceps really engaging there. A little bit of an angle towards the ceiling. Your thumb is inwardly rotating towards your hips so that your palm is facing the ceiling a bit, you're gonna feel how much more that changes the tricep engagement here. Awesome. You counting your reps? Remember, eight to 12. Awesome work. You can even do this without weights. You can pretend you're holding something and squeeze at the top and you can just really feel it. Even with these super light weights, I can feel it big time. All right, gaze is neutral. You're not looking down. You're not looking up, you want that spine in line with your neck. And that's my last one. Whew. Well done, when you're ready, take your time. Bend your knees and set those weights down. And that's our first superset. So let's have a quick sip of water. Think about how you did in the last round, how you maybe want to adjust your weights or your technique as we move forward with the superset. All right. So, back into those tricep push-ups. I'm gonna do this on my mat. Feel free to join me or stay on your elevated surface, up to you. Line yourself up, let's go ahead and get into that nice strong plank form before I start the tire. And here we go. Lower down with control, drive it back up. Keep that gaze neutral, really keeping those elbows rotating in towards the rib cage. They don't have to touch your rib cage, and they don't have to squeeze your rib cage. It's just sort of a, uh, a cue to remind you that you're not wanting those elbows to flare out. And you'll notice the difference between those two types of push-ups. And always, you can decide to drop those knees and lower it down that way. Awesome. Or you can do one knee at a time. Just switch it up. Awesome. And last three. Two, one. Oh, starting to feel that one. Excellent work. Shake it out a little bit. Getting into our second round, tricep kickbacks. 
So, reflect on your last round. Did you have a little too heavy of weight where you could barely make it to eight? Then maybe go a little lighter. If you could do way more than 12, go a little heavier if you have that option. Or you can stick with what you had if you're just really happy with the way that you felt with it. All right, <laughs> so here we go. Go ahead and I'm a little indecisive myself with my weights. Okay, standing tall, weights by your side, core is braced. Hinge at the hips, sending the butt back, bending the knees slightly. You're pretty much keeping those shins parallel, pardon me, um, vertical to the ground. That's not super important, but it helps to give you a strong base. And then drive those elbows up by your side and get straight to it. Again, neutral gaze. Notice what's happening in your core. You should be feeling your glutes really supporting you and keeping you nice and stable here. A good foundation is so important. Even though this is an upper body move, your upper body isn't disconnected from the rest of your body. So you really want to pay attention to everything. And that's why we remind you so frequently of these cues because we remind ourselves too. It's easy to forget some of these things until it becomes muscle memory. All right, that's my last one. Take your time. Finish up your set. If you're going slower than me, that is totally fine. Go ahead and pause the video and finish up your set. If you're going faster, feel free to take some stretches, get a little extra round in, whatever serves you. So awesome work. We're gonna do that super set one more time. Take some nice deep breaths. I'm gonna have another sip of water. And I have a fire blazing right beside me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tricep push-ups. You feeling that in your muscle there yet? <laughs> I know I am. I'm gonna have to move back to that elevated version because I can feel myself faltering a bit in the last round. All right, set yourself up in that nice tall plank. And here we go. Lower it with control, drive it up. Awesome. Keeping those elbows rotating in towards your torso. Awesome work. Woo! And you can take it slow too. You don't have to try and knock out a ton of these, even though it's for time. Just do what feels good. Check in. You're not losing that core engagement. I was noticing a bit of that in myself. Woo! So good. Keep it up. And last three, two, one, good googly moogly. All right, well done. That was our last tricep push up. We'll have some other things in the future of this workout. That's something to look forward to. All right, final round of tricep kickbacks. Eight to 12 reps, choose your weight. And I'm gonna go back down again. So if you find that that's what's gonna serve you best today, please do that. Don't be a hero. <laughs> There's no reason to push yourself further than your body is asking you to go. All right, so hinge at those hips, sending the butt back, elbows in by your ribcage, kick it back. Awesome. <sighs> Rotating those palms so they're towards the ceiling a bit. I had to switch directions I was looking because I could feel myself twisting my spine a little bit to look at y'all. So keep in mind, you're trying to think length through your spine as you, like someone's pulling a string that's coming out of your butt and then up your head. And they're just pulling that long because that's where your spine is. So it's just going straight through your spine. It's creating this length so you can keep that core integrated as you rock these triceps. Awesome. All right, that's my last one. Finish up your set in your own time. Set those weights down with bent legs and congratulate yourself for the first super set done. So strong. All right, so our next super set, we are gonna start on our bellies for a, this was, this 
superset is like a posterior chain superset. So we've got swimmers to start, and then we're moving to a bent over row. So nice complementary moves. Swimmers are for time, so go ahead and meet the underbelly. And lying flat with your arms up, and, uh, <laughs> extended out in front of you. Now, take a tiny tuck of that pelvis. There's a little press of your pubic bone into the mat. This is very similar to when you're on your back and we asked you to use blueberry spine to brace through the core. So it's like that, but just on your belly. So a tiny tuck is gonna neutralize that spine, brace the core, and here we go. So lift your arms, lift your legs, reaching with both to the walls in front of and behind you, and then swing it out. It's so much better for your spine and for the integration of your muscular engagement if you think of reaching for the walls instead of trying to lift it up. Because lifting up is going to potentially create more strain in your lower back than is necessary. Awesome. And also reaching forward and behind you is going to teach your body to feel that length in your spine. It's so good. And last three, two, one. Well done. Pull yourself down. Roll yourself on over. Just gently come on up. And we'll move on to our bent over rows. So again, working in the eight to 12 rep range, you can start lighter. And you think maybe eventually you'll go. Test the waters. The first round is always really good for that. And then you stand in with what you've chosen. All right, so similar positioning to what we were doing for those tricep kickbacks. So hinge of the hips, a little bit of those knees, setting the hip back, back is flat, shoulders are not running forward, and you're just gonna drive those elbows up and back, squeeze in between those shoulder blades, keeping the gaze nice and neutral with your spine, and keeping that core so strong so that you're really trying to focus on using the muscles to drive this movement versus any sort of momentum by arching the spine or moving the body. <sighs> really try to keep yourself nice and stable, which is why these legs are super helpful here. Keeping that in good positioning <sighs> to feel so strong and supported as you move through this. Awesome work, check in that your gaze is staying neutral. <sighs> <laughs> Counting your reps when you get to your final rep. Bend your knees, set those weights down. I'm very well done. That was our second superset. So we're gonna do that twice more. Starting at the top of this, <laughs> at the top of the superset with the swimmers. Knee me on your belly. And if you're finding the full swimmer is a bit challenging for you today, Feel free to keep your, pardon me, to take turns. So first you can lift your upper body into your arms. You can lower it and then lift your legs and do it. Or you can keep yourself lifted with your hands and then kick your legs. There's so many options. You don't have to do the full move. Just do what feels good to you today. All right, little touch to the pelvis, core is braced. Here we go, reach and lift and swim it out. Keeping that gaze neutral again, which may be a little bit ahead of your mat, your gaze. It depends on where you're lying on your mat, but if you just don't want to feel a strain in your neck here. Awesome work, keep breathing. Check in, you're not losing that core engagement. Take a moment to reset if you feel it starting to strain in your lower back and get back to it. So well done. Continue reaching with those legs. You should feel this in your glutes, your entire posterior chain there. And last three, two, one. Roll yourself down. Amazing work. Roll yourself on over and come up to sitting. Moving on to those bent over rows. Reflecting on how you felt last round and choosing an appropriate weight for the eight to 12 rep range. So me and me standing. Here comes my cat. And nice, comfortable stance, 
shoulders are back and down, core is braced before you even start. Hinge those hips back, and there you go. Drive it up. Feeling that core really stabilizing you here. Keep breathing. And you can bend even more into those legs that feel a little more stable. Might be a little bit better of a counterbalance for you. So well done. The only reason why we're bending over is to allow gravity to work against us for this move. So we can use our muscles to pull the weight up. So you can technically do this one-sided with your palm on a bench. But bent over is just nice and easy to get it rocked out quickly. Ah, okay, that's my last one. Feeling that. When you're ready, bend your knees. Set your weight down. Ah, take some breaths. Let's take a really quick water break. And we'll get back to the top of the superset for the final time. All right. So meet me on your belly. Decide which option you want to do. <laughs> get that core brace, a little tuck that pelvis. <sighs> Reaching long and lifting as you reach. <sighs> Swimming out. Keeping that really strong core engagement that's so important. <sighs> Keep breathing. Neutral spine with your neck. So you don't want to be crunching your neck up. So good, keep breathing, you're almost there. And you can always switch to one of our modifications. So you can keep your chest elevated with your hands, or you can alternate legs and arms. And <laughs> last three, two, one. Woo! Lower yourself down, throw yourself on over. In our final round of our bent of a rose. Holy smokes, I'm sweating like crazy. Okay, choose your weight. Eight to 12 reps. And you standing. So, you know the cues by now. Get that core so braced, strong. Stands on those feet. Hinge, get straight to it. Drive it up. Awesome work. Trying to prevent yourself from creating an arch in the spine. I know, especially as we first start to learn how to integrate a flat back or even a good posture, a lot of us tend to overcompensate and arch your spine because we think it feels sort of like we're getting taller because our gaze is looking up, right? That's not what we want, we want that length, like I was talking about with that string going down our spine. You're gonna feel how much that really integrates the core, your obliques, your back core, and your front core. The whole thing. Don't let those shoulders round forward. Really control that descent. And this is my last one. Finish yours up when you're ready. Set the weights down. So well done. All right. On to our third superset. This is a really fun move we're gonna get into. It's called a push slide push up. So again, this is for time. So feel free to take your time though and feel out how this is supposed to feel in your body. So we mean a downward dog by coming into a tall plank, pressing through the finger pad and setting those hips up and back with bent legs. So you're actively sending your heels toward the mat. So you may need to bend your leg a little more to make that happen. Awesome. Let's just feel this for a little bit. And here we go. So what you're gonna do is keep that feel of sending your hips up and back, and you're gonna bend your knees to hover over the mat. Awesome. And then you're gonna shift yourself forward to a tall plank, and then we're gonna do a regular push-up. Awesome, and then send your hips back and up, but as you bend your knees to hover. So you're gonna feel your hips wanting to go up and your knees wanting to go down. So you're really gonna feel this in your core and then shift it forward to a plank, push it up. Awesome work. 
shift that up and back, keeping that core so strong with a tiny tuck to that pelvis. So you're not arching for this and then shift it forward because you want to end up in a plank with a flat back just like we were doing earlier for those tricep push-ups. Awesome work. Five more seconds. Hovering those knees. So good. And last two. One. Well done. That's fun, right? <laughs> it's challenging. You really feel that up in your hip flexors and your deep lower core. Have a big sip of water. We're moving to our overhead press. So we're working in the 8 to 12 rep range. <sighs> Grab the weight I think is going to work for you. Meet me standing. <sighs> and core is braced. Nice steady stance with those feet. You want to feel strong. Get those weights into a goal post position. And you're just gonna press it straight up, okay? Counting your reps. Try to keep those shoulders away from your ears. And strictly just pressing the weight up without using the rest of your body to add momentum to this. <laughs> Feeling this. You're trying to keep your arms in a nice single plane like you're standing between two walls right in front of your chest and your back, and you don't want your elbows or your hands to graze the walls. Whew. That's my last one. Finish up your set. And meet me in a downward dog for the push, slide, push up. All right. So from downward dog, go ahead and shift yourself to a tall plank. You want to be in a good distance for the plank position. And here we go. Do that push up. Send the hips up and back, knees down, core braced. You know it's a lot to think about. Shift it forward. Push up. And you can always drop your knees for that push up. Awesome. And then just shift back to a tall plank once you finish the push up. Your upper body feeling fatigued yet? All right. And last five, four, three, two, one. So strong. Moving right on to our overhead press. I know we're just powering through this, right? Eight to 12 reps. Reps. Maybe standing. Goal post position and get to it. And of course, if I'm going too fast for you again, I'm not taking enough breaks, please pause the video. Take things in your own time. Everything's valid. Keep that gaze looking straight ahead, not creating an arch in that spine. You want it nice and tall. And that's my last one. Wow, we. Let's take a little Breathe it there. Shake the arms out. Oh. Right. Here we go. Back to our final round of the push slide push up. So you need a tall plank or a downward dog, wherever feels good for you. I like to start in downward dog. Just as a nice little stretch for my hamstrings. But then shift straight ahead into that plank. Here we go. Push it up. Bend those knees, core is braced, hips going back slightly, and knees hovering. Shift it forward, tall plank. Awesome. It's helpful to pretend that your feet are pressed up against the wall. So you're not really moving them a whole lot like this. That stability is going to help you power through appropriately in this move. And you can even maybe place your knees pardon me, your feet against the wall and see how that feels. All right, last three, two, one. Incredible. Final round of our overhead press. And then we'll move on to our final superset. So maybe standing. Deep breaths. 
Nice strong position. Get to it. Press it straight up. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Breathe strong. So well done. Gonna have to do one at a time. To notice, I can see, feel a little bit of a imbalance on both sides, but that's totally normal. That's definitely my last one. When you feel your form is about to start to fall apart, you're done. <laughs> All right, so well done. So our final superset, shake it out with me. While I talk about this, we're getting into a squat thrust, which is just a burpee without a push-up. So I'm gonna grab my elevated surface again because I think I'm gonna need it. But you can totally do this on your mat. All right, so actually put this over here. So we won't slide around. So doing this for time. Go ahead and meet me in a tall plank. And from there you can jump or step those feet forward, jump or step it up, plant the hands, jump or step it back, jump or step it forward, and just keep that up. It actually feels pretty simple compared to what we've been doing today, which is nice. Even that core is so strong. Awesome. And last three, two, one. Well done. Our next move is a 45 degree curl, bicep curl. So eight to 12 reps. Deep breaths, maybe standing in a nice stable stance. Elbows are staying in beside your rib cage. <laughs> and we're just going to angle out those arms about 45 degrees and drive it up. Awesome. With control, trying not to use your body to sway and assist your biceps here. And you also don't want your elbows to be coming away from your rib cage in any direction. If you find that's happening, put these weights down to get something a little lighter. Awesome work. All right, keep your angle at 45 degrees. This is my last one. Well done. Bend your legs in the weight down. Catch our breath a bit. We're gonna move back to those Squat thrusts. So you ready? Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Plant those hands. Jump or step it back. Jump or step it forward. Jump it up. Awesome work. And you can always switch to a different version if you want to switch it up a bit. Awesome. And last, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Back to the 45 degree curl. Whew, can't talk. Eight to 12 reps, choose your weight. And you can do this sitting or standing. Whew. 45 degrees to those arms. Here we go. Curl it up with control. And the lower with control. Give you that gaze looking straight ahead. Give you that arch out of your spine. Awesome work. And that's my last one. Set those weights down when you're ready. One more round of that. And we're done. You ready to finish strong? Let's do it. Getting into the squat thrust, final time. Starting in three, two, one. Plant, jump or step it back. Jump or step it forward. And body squat or jump it up. Awesome work. Keep breathing. Core is strong. Oh man. So good. When you can slow it down, if you feel starting to fall apart a bit. <laughs> and last five, 
four, three, two, one. Whew, feeling that my legs. All right, final round. Bicep curls, 45 degrees. Eight to 12 reps. Now drink some water. All right, here we go. Keep me standing. 45 degrees. Core is strong. Get to it. Try to control that breath. Deep inhales and exhales. All right. This is my last one. When you're done, set those weights down. Take some nice deep breaths. And congratulate yourself. Incredible work. Whew. I know I'm, I'm really beat after that one, but it's a good thing to finish feeling like you worked your body. So I encourage you to take this time to cool down and stretch it out. I linked a brief stretch class under this video in the class notes. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.